Wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places, kings that need to be chained, and nobles who need to be tied with fetters of iron. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Now, we might think we are, and we might be just wrestling against flesh and blood if we are not born again by the blood of Jesus Christ and our mind purged from an evil conscience. Because if we aren't in Christ, then we are in prison. The devil already has us in prison. He's not going to mess with us. He's got us already tied up in the bondage of sin and death. But those who are in Christ Jesus, there is no condemnation because they walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. But if you walk after the flesh, you shall die because to be carnally minded is enmity against God. And you are no threat to the devil when you are carnal. And if you are carnal and yet a Christian, that's possible, that would be like a baby. You have to be grown up in order to fight against the enemy. So if you're just a baby in Christ, then you need to drink the sincere word, the milk of the word, daily hours and you must forsake idolatry you must flee fornication because if you don't you will have lost your way to salvation you have tasted to see that the Lord is good you have tasted of his Holy Spirit his word has has strengthened you but if you would fall back into perdition, it is impossible, the Bible says, in Hebrews chapter 6, verses 4 through 6, it is impossible, if they should fall away, for them to be renewed again under repentance, seeing how that they crucify to themselves the Son of God, and put Christ to an open shame. How does one put Christ to an open shame? By sinning willfully after Jesus said, Go and sin no more. These are the workers of iniquity who said, Lord, Lord, didn't I teach Sunday school? Didn't I witness? Didn't I do YouTube videos? Or didn't I go to church? Blah, blah, blah. If we fall back into perdition, if we willfully sin, there is no more place for repentance. Think about Esau in chapter 12 in Hebrews. It said he regarded his birthright 
as a light thing and he traded it for food because he was hungry for his lust he sold it to Jacob his brother did Jacob give it back to him no Esau sold his birthright and it was never given back to him and later on he sought carefully with tears a place to repent but found none because God had rejected him serious stuff we must walk after the Spirit and if you are in the bondage of sin then you must repent and cry out for mercy have mercy on me O God according to your loving kindness your tender mercies blot out all my sin but you have to pray from the heart and you have to believe from the heart because you need a clean heart because the, the old heart is deceitful and desperately wicked that's why some people think they believe from their heart that they are saved but yet they go out and sin and continue in sin because they have they have not received forgiveness nor remission of sin it is a false salvation do you want a real salvation then cry out to God for his mercy only then can we be saved if it were not for the mercy of God, we would be as Sodom and like unto Gomorrah.